Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody wanted to know how they could make a font look like it's made out of wood. Well, first of all, I found it. I just typed in wood photos, but here's a little secret. If you go to filters, first of all, you just type in and you go to images. That's going to get you the images. Then go to filter and click on, it came up with all, click on extra large. That's extra large pictures. Like this picture here, if we look at it, is 4,000 pixels by 2,600 pixels. The one I picked was about as clear as you can get on here. And it's 2560 by 16. It's a really clear picture. That's what you want if you're going to print. Or maybe even this would even work if you engrave. You know, we uh, turn it into a grayscale. But that's not, somebody's going to print this on a t-shirt and they want the font. They don't want the word wood font, but I made wood font. So just put it in your wood anywhere you want. And make sure it's on the front of the page, which it is because you can see it. And then just select everything and go to our friend, the intersect tool. And voila, right there is a font. Looks like wood. That would be pretty cool print on a t-shirt. And you can do a lot with this. You can put an outline around it, um, make the outline thicker and everything. Well, you matter of fact, you can't really put an outline around this, but you could take this. So let's start over. Let's delete that. Well, let's, don't we delete that. Let's delete this. Now, this thing is uh, like 32 inches of water set or nudge factor on 35. Now we're going to select everything and intersect. Then I'm going to move that font out of the way. And then I'm going to grab my black font. I'm going to move it out of the way and down. And then I'm going to left click, right click. And then you could make this any thickness you want. And then just move it back up to your other font. You can't really put a an outline around the wood, but you can around the original. And then you've added to it. You can make it, you know, make it brown. It doesn't have to necessarily be uh, black. Let's just make it a brown by right clicking give you a total different look and maybe make them kind of stand off. I actually like it better without the outline. I think it looks pretty good and it stands out just depending maybe on what color t-shirt you're going to, they're printing it on. I mean, if you print on a brown t-shirt, you might want an outline, but if you print this on a blue t-shirt, let's make a backing of a blue t-shirt go up to object, order back a page. And that's what it's going to look like. Anyway, hope that helped. Thank you for watching.